where you check out Tempest in DI. I have basically moved on from DI. This problem I have with Immortal is the same problem I have with D4, which is making content on it feels terrible because what ends up happening is your comments just get spammed with like, this is the worst game ever, why are you playing it? In Diablo Immortal, though, it was because it was pay the win, so you just get hated on for even playing the game. And then in uh, D4, it's the fact that it's D4 and it's the most memed upon game of all time. Like half your comments are like, bro, why are you playing this game? Or Blizzard chill or whatever. Just gets old and annoying. I like that the Blood Mavens always have a different name. Kai Lei. You think they name the demons in the game and stuff after, after people? I always wondered if Riker in PoE was named after Riker. When was the last time you had short hair? When are you doing it again? What's with the winking face? You're sussing me out with that winking face. You guys want to see me with short hair? I can actually show you. I I'm going to be honest, it's not a good look. I think I look way better with long hair. I think with short hair, I look like a dweeb. Bang. Short hair DM. All right. Now. Then. Now. Then. But I'm young as f in this video here. The short hair ain't for me, dude. Your eyes are so different. Yeah, they were soulless back then. It's a little beavis. That's because of the, the up and down of it. This apartment was so, like, terrible, too. Like, look at this apartment. This is my whole apartment. There's my kitchen, living room. That's the bathroom and the bedroom, which is basically just a bed. And then this is, like, the chair. Oh, actually, funny part. This chair right here, which was, I'm pretty sure I got this for my brother, who I'm pretty sure stole it from the college. That's this chair. You see this cat where she's sitting on it? It's now blue and got re- My mom redid it because she actually knows how to do that shit and turned it like blue and green and then put like well stuff on all that to match like the, the whole like well pod theme back in the day. So this was my whole life right here. I Right here is my door. So I was vacuuming. I was vacuuming this place and I put my bike outside for like two seconds because I have a mountain bike I used to store right here. So somebody ran up the stairs and stole my bike. This place fucking sucked, dude. <laughs> I still gotta finish Elden Ring. You didn't beat Elden Ring? I got about halfway through and rage quit it because it's the most frustrating game to stream ever. Fun game though. One of the best games to play, one of the worst games to stream. And the thing about Elden Ring is it's exactly the type of game I do like because normally in ARPGs, the way I did with PoE when I do with this game, is I like just slamming my head against the boss. Like I don't like going and leveling up and getting stronger than going back. If I'm like, oh, I'm at the boss, I just want to kill him. The thing I like about Elden Ring is every time I get to a boss fight, I feel like I can just do the fight over and over again until I can beat it. Like I don't feel like I have to leave. I just feel like I'm the problem. They do say the Souls community can be toxic, but not always. How do I put it nicely? Streaming Elden Ring was the most miserable experience I've had ever streaming any game ever, pretty much. It was weird too that it was that way because it's it's like when i went to play path of exile everyone was just super super stoked like oh shit he's playing poe awesome so people were like hyped to watch me play a blind but then you go play elden ring blind and uh everyone's mad that you're playing it blind it's like he doesn't know what he's doing on his first run it's like yeah uh, no shit what kind of five iq take is this dude i agree it was miserable when i started Elden ring you can literally be like 13 seconds in the game in the tutorial and then people are like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Why don't you have the god sword of 69 big dick? And it's like, I don't even know what you're talking about, bro. Like, I'm trying to play the fucking game. And everyone's like, oh my god, what, you picked that class? What an idiot. You're wearing armor? Wow, you're a degenerate. Like, it's actually brutal, bro. It doesn't make any sense. It's like, let me play that. Let me watch somebody play my favorite game and then try to make them hate it. It'd be like me watching somebody play RuneScape blind for their first time ever. And then the first thing I say is, bro, you don't got like, you didn't do your Barrows equipment. Five minutes into the game, like, what is wrong with you? It's like, no, obviously he doesn't. He doesn't even know what that is. But isn't it uh, the job of the mods to time those people out? I feel like most of the time, I don't really have to worry about modding. We play fairly adult games that are older community. And for the most part, people get their trolling out of them by the time they hit like their early 20s. Like if you're in your like mid 30s to 40s and you're still like trolling Twitch chats, like I don't know what to tell you about your life. For the most part, people get that done like fairly young. And because we are playing like old school ARPGs, most of our audience is fairly older and we just don't really have to deal with trolls too much. I was definitely peak troll at 18. Yeah, I mean, I, I think if you're a teen and you're trolling online, it's like, all right, that's fine. Like, you know, pretty normal experience for a lot of kids. I wouldn't really judge people from that. I think if you start to get to like your elder years and you're still like going online to try to make people mad on the daily, like, huh? Oh, the forces of hell grow angry. Isn't there like a Lord of the Rings meme about that? Like, grow angry, my friends. Like, what am I thinking of? Oh, you know what it is? Somewhere it's like, the storm was angry that day, my friends. And it was like a, it's like a, it's from a comedy movie or something. Yeah, it was George from Seinfeld saying, the sea is angry. So that's what I'm thinking of. 
That's the line I got in my head from that. You mix up Seinfeld and Lord of the Rings all the time? Bro, it happens to the best of us. That's the one where he gets the golf ball stuck in the well? It is. That is actually that episode. You are right. Yep. I saw a Seinfeld's latest movie was Unfrosted. It's actually pretty cute. I mean, it's it's decently funny. Has a quite a number of actors in it that you would recognize. Boomers in the chat for real? That's what I'm talking about. It, it's it, Diablo is an old school game, man. Some real OG gamers in here. I mean, we got people in here that grew up on Pong, you know what I'm saying? Or Descent, or Mist, or Carmen San Diego. Or maybe the, that fucking Apple game that had like three pixels total on the screen where you would jump from one layer to the other because the only thing they knew back in the day was like educational games. Where was some crew that their their first game they played was jacks. They played with pickup sticks, okay? They go to school and show off their latest pog. Nowadays, kids think pog is an emote on Twitch. They need to get off my lawn. Back in my day, games bombed so hard they weren't just review bombed on Steam. They literally threw them in a fucking landfill and forgot about them if they existed, all right? That's how OG we are up in here. Is there any worse bombing of a game than you literally have to bury your games in the landfill because no one will buy it? Like, is there anything worse? I think that might be the largest embarrassment you could have as a gaming company. That was E.T., wasn't it? That was absolutely E.T., yep. The E.T. actually didn't stand for extraterrestrial. It stood for extra terrible. Does No Man's Sky still have no multiplayer? It has multiplayer now. No Man's Sky is legitimately a really good game now. Like, I would very much recommend purchasing the game, playing the game. You will have fun single or, or multiplayer. You will have fun exploring. You will have fun building. It is overall a very good game, very much worth the price it has, and I will give them another chance on their next game. There's the only company that, that came out with what, in my opinion, is a dog shit product that turned around that will that will get my stamp of approval. D3 got there in the end, too? Yeah, D3. Would. My, I have a bad take on D3, though. And I mean, by bad take, I mean like a take that just doesn't seem to be the consensus, which is like, D3 for me was never not fun. Like, I liked D3 on launch. I liked it now. Like, I didn't, I didn't really, but then again, I wasn't like super min-max Andy or anything. Like, I never even looked up a single video on it. All I did was play the game after work. I actually liked the auction house. Like, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty much a one-off on this one. I still remember Crip launching his channel because of D3. Yeah, he went like Omega blow up. Like, I just had fun with D3. I remember my boss being hyped, my coworkers being hyped. I would log into the game and just, like, try the kill shit and not know what I'm doing. But I was, like, giga casual in the game. That's kind of why, like, my take on D4 has been, like, yeah, the end game has been struggling. But I still legitimately have recommended it to people to buy on sale. Because I actually think you can play the game. I remember my days of D3 of not being a full-time streamer. And actually liking it and, you know, not hearing any of the discourse, not being part of the internet world, just sitting there like playing the game and having a good time. And I actually think it's the same thing with this game. Like it kind of released in a bad state, but that's why in my review I ended it with, I don't think this game's made for me. I think it's made for you. That was my take on D4 because the people I was talking to were not people that normally watch YouTube videos. And I knew that and I, it's, it's, the takes remain the same. It's just as time has gone on, the lack of content made people who stayed in the game that long have a lack of things to do. But I still think D4 since the launch of the game is a good game for people that just don't give a fuck about anything other than playing ultra casual. Like the type of people that will never hit level 100. At this point, everyone's gonna hit level 100, but back in the day. Saw your Alaska vid on YouTube, you're a good storyteller. Ah, uh, thank you, sir. Hey, let me tell you a story you just won't believe. So one time, I was riding on my motorcycle, and I hit a trailer. I was going too fast, and there was a trailer, and it's, it's leverage, like, the, the thing that holds it. With the, what the fuck am I doing? The clamps broke, all right? And it dropped down, and I was going, like, way too fast, so I hit it a million miles an hour. It jumped over the truck that was pulling the trailer. But I hit it at just an angle that flipped me. So I did a I did a 360 barrel roll plus a backflip at the same time. And then I landed in the bed of another pickup truck that was actually speeding just at the exact same time. So that it was it was perfect landing. And then when I landed on it, the momentum flipped me into a front flip and I went in through the sunroof. And I landed in the passenger seat. And the guy's like, want a beer? And that's how I met Kyra Mobile. It's a true story. Probably won't believe it though. You're right, I don't believe it. No, no, no. You should totally believe it. What do you mean you don't believe it?